A terrifying traffic stop. Squaring off a highly trained, decorated war veteran who suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder and local police officers armed with guns and tasers. Tase him. you Well, the confrontation ends with a trip to the hospital and jail. Defender Kevin Dietz has the exclusive video and interview with that veteran who hopes this incident will lead to PTSD training for all officers. He's a local Marine veteran who was shot at plenty of times on the battlefield overseas while serving his country. Now back home on the streets of Metro Detroit, he is tased and bloodied by suburban police officers. Bullets fly, bodies fall, war is hell. Thousands have died in American wars, tens of thousands more have come home injured, some physically, some mentally. Marine Kirk Shahan knows all about war. He credits this American flag for his survival during tours in Okinawa, Iraq, and Kuwait. I carried it in my flag jacket in case something ever happened. That way I'd be bare with the U.S. flag. With his flag tucked by his heart, this Marine saw plenty of death on the battlefield. I saw things that people shouldn't see. Yeah, you're right. I've done things that some people, if I would have done that stuff in the state side, I'd be in prison for. And then now they throw a uh, metal on your chest. He carried his friend's dead bodies back to safe zones so they could have proper burials. They said, you know, we pick up our own, but we don't pick up any of the enemy. He has the medals to prove it for service in Korea, Iraq, and the worldwide war on terror. Kirk Shahan is a real American hero who had one real bad night on the streets of Van Buren Township. Drop your keys, man. Come on, shoot me. Get your hands up now. Ah, you Roll over on your stomach. Get back on the ground. You can shoot me or call a tight man. All right? Tase him. Just hit him. No, go. Shahan has been diagnosed with post traumatic stress disorder. Make no mistake, he was in the wrong here. He's drunk driving, combative, and not taking orders. He's lucky the Van Buren Township police officer didn't shoot him. Shahan admits all that. He pled guilty in court to DUI and assault. But he says this terrible incident should be a call to action for first responders to be trained on how to deal with people diagnosed with PTSD. There was a lot of, uh, lot of heavy combat. I uh, suffered anywhere from 12 to uh, 16 concussions. Loud noises, confined spaces are just some of the triggers that cause a flashback for Shahan. Instantly, he's back on the battlefield. My heart is racing. Um, my throat's way up here. I can't breathe. I, I just, uh, I start panicking. I have a panic attack. When it happens, his wife Melissa calmly reminds him that he is home and safe. You just try to be there for him for when he does have a flashback to try to help him come back to life, you know. Hey, you're safe. You're home. Melissa has learned to defuse PTSD episodes. The couple hope this video will convince police that PTSD training is good for everyone's safety. It's always after the fact, and that's the problem, is that I'm trying to be proactive about this instead of reactive. In this case, Shahan had a military license plate that says veteran. He was wearing a vest with military markings. There were signs for police to recognize him as a veteran, and that this may be a PTSD case. If police had training, they may have approached him differently. A violent, dangerous arrest may have been avoided. An officer should approach an individual who's suffering from PTSD uh, with a calm uh, demeanor um, in order to establish some sort of uh, uh, bond or trust. No officer wants to kill a war veteran during a traffic stop. In Michigan, there is no required PTSD training for police. The Shahans say first responders deserve to be trained to handle people with PTSD. Talk to the people. Let them know you're there. Let them know they're safe. Let them know they're home. As our series continues tomorrow night at 5 p.m., the Defenders team up with Dr. Frank McGeorge to dig deeper into the issue of PTSD. Plus, we want to hear from you. We've set up a special page on our website, clickondetroit.com, where you can share your stories. You can find it on the Defenders tab. Kevin Dietz. Defenders. And right. Yeah, you have to help think that sharing your story will 
help in some way because it's again one of those mental illnesses that not a lot of people like to talk about right. so and awareness. you can get that communication out there that, know you're not alone exactly and it's awareness and that's by the way today is PTSD awareness day June is PTSD awareness month so we can have that conversation and yep. continue to uh, follow Kevin's reports and also follow him online awareness so important